uh, what the UK will be doing is working with our partners in, uh, in the UN Security Council, in the, the, the P5, uh, to get that in NATO. Uh, there's an North Atlantic Council on Friday to get that message over. We don't want anybody uh, bilaterally recognising uh, the Taliban. We want a united uh, position amongst all the like-minded, as far as we can uh, get one, uh, so that we uh, do whatever we can uh, to prevent Afghanistan lapsing back into uh, being a, a breeding ground for terror. I've just uh, been uh, in charge of another COBRA meeting because, as you rightly say, uh, Sam, the situation in Afghanistan continues to be extremely difficult, getting, getting more difficult, I would say. And our priority is uh, to make sure that we deliver on our obligations to uh, UK nationals in, uh, in Afghanistan, to all those who have helped to the uh, British effort in Afghanistan over, uh, over 20 years, and to, to get them out as fast as we can. So uh, the ambassador is, is working round the clock, has been uh, there in uh, at the airport to help process the, the applications. Uh, as you know, about 2,000 have already, uh, 2,000 Afghans have already left and uh, come to this country under our, our resettlement scheme. Uh, and we're going to get as many as we can out in the next uh, in the next few days. But uh, plainly, the situation uh, remains uh, very difficult. And it's clear uh, that there is going to be, uh, or there is very going to be very shortly, a, a new government in Kabul or a new uh, political dispensation, however you want to, to put it. And I think it's very important that uh, the West collectively uh, should work together uh, to get over to uh, that new government, be it by the Taliban or, or anybody else, uh, that uh, nobody wants Afghanistan once again to be a, a breeding ground for, for terror. And uh, we don't think it, that it's in the interests of, of the people of Afghanistan that it should lapse back into that, uh, that state, that pre-2001 uh, state.